have been affected by the weekend storms and some of the schools have been closed due to access roads being blocked. Provincial MEC David Meniru has rather visited some of the schools to assess the situation and the department says the devastating rain cost the lives of three pupils. He joins me now uh, to have a conversation and MEC thank you so much for your time and a very warm good morning to you um, and, and condolences really to the parents and the family members of those young pupils who lost their lives uh, due to these uh, bad weather conditions. Perhaps take us through you know the effects uh, to the basic school department to to school as a whole uh, after of course these devastating weather conditions so the uh, floods have been devastating to the education system in our province uh, as of yesterday we had 21 uh, schools that were closed and an absentee rate of uh, about 30 percent uh, we uh, estimate that about uh, 250 schools have been affected, and of those 250 schools, about 150 have uh, incurred some form of uh, damage to infrastructure, either major damage, for example, the collapse of, of walls and classrooms, or arranging right through to sort of minor damage, uh, for example, damage to, to gutterings and uh, you know flooding of 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 classrooms mm. and of course uh, we as a department are doing everything that we can uh, to ensure that we uh, get as many schools open uh, as soon as possible so that teaching and learning can uh, resume uh, at schools in the western Cape. yeah and mec for the department what are the costs associated now uh due to the damage i'm sure these are unplanned costs uh, but estimated i mean what are you looking at roughly well our district teams and infrastructure teams are still in the field they're still assessing uh the damage uh yesterday for example we received uh, 68 requests for uh emergency uh, repairs so we are still in the process of assessing the damage, and we haven't yet costed uh, the, the the total uh, uh, damage to our infrastructure and the costs of the, the repairs. We'll obviously be doing that during uh, the coming days, and we will have to uh, fund that by reprioritizing our uh, budget uh, and uh, spending uh, our emergency uh, repair uh, budget, but we have not yet costed mm. the damage that we will do in the coming days. Right. You also mentioned that there's an absenteeism rate rather of approximately 30% as it stands. What are your interventions now as the Western Cape to try and make sure that these learners are back in school? Because we understand that in as much as the school buildings, infrastructure, the roads close to the schools have been affected, but it's also the people's homes. It's where their family homes are. Uh, we've seen some family members, you know, pouring water out uh, of their damaged uh, you know homes and uh, buildings so what was the plan there just in terms of trying to make sure that they do come back to school well our first priority is to get as many schools open uh, as possible as I said yesterday we had 21 schools that were closed uh, what I'm pleased about is that that is in fact 18 more schools open than the previous day. So we are able to demonstrate some recovery and I hope that we will be able to bring that number down substantially uh, today. That really is our, our first response. We obviously then are going to have to look at school-based catch-up plans because of course learning and teaching has been uh, severely impacted. So schools will be looking at how they can put catch-up plans in place and that would depend on the uh, on the the circumstances of the school uh, it may include uh, everything from additional classes during the spring holiday to catch up classes when the fourth term uh, 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 begins or alternatively you know even learner support packs so we will have to put catch-up plans uh, in place and our schools uh, will uh, are already busy with that project. There's then a third aspect. Uh, I mean, you'll be aware that many of our learners who are not able to get to school uh, are obviously not able to access our, a school feeding scheme, which is a big concern for me. Uh, and as of yesterday, our districts were starting to look at uh, how we might uh, get food parcels through uh, to, to learners who are, are, are not able to access our feeding schemes 
uh, at schools. Mm. And that was going to lead to my next question in terms of the partnerships that perhaps we have right now with emergency services, with NGOs like MEC, in terms of not only assisting the schools but the teachers as well and the family members and families of these affected children uh, during this time. There's been a huge response uh, response from uh, our our communities. I mean, yesterday I was in Franchuk. I visited Franchuk uh, High School. Uh, that school uh, was closed because there was no uh, electricity, no water, and then severe damage to uh, to access roads. And the municipality, the police, and the community uh, were weighing in to support that school uh, to. Uh, to open, and we see that across uh, across our province, there's been a huge effort uh, from NGOs, uh, from local municipalities, uh, and national government departments to support us uh, to uh, get our schools open and uh, ensure that teaching and learning uh, recommences here in the Western Cape. And my last question to you, MEC, before I let you go. Um, we understand that 21 schools, as you mentioned, uh, were closed. What's your target? As you also continue to assess the extent of the damage, uh, investigate the extent of what needs to be done and uh, prioritize reopening the schools so the kids can come to schools, surely you have you know, a target in mind, a deadline in mind, an ideal one, so you can commence with those catch-up plans in as far as you know, academics are concerned. What is it looking like? Well, uh, as of yesterday, 21 schools are closed. I'm waiting for updated numbers. Mm -hmm. I expect that that number to be significantly uh, reduced. Uh, I'm ambitious. My target would be to get all schools uh, open uh, in our province uh, in uh, the next two days. Uh, but, you know, we will have to see whether that is possible, particularly for schools uh, which have experienced major in infrastructure damage. But we want to get as many schools open as soon as possible so that learning and teaching can uh, continue at the affected schools in the Western Cape. And thank you so much for speaking to me and giving us this uh, update. Uh, MEC, thank you for your time and joining us right here on Newslink. Western Cape Education MEC, David Mania, joining me right here on Newslink.